So folks, you know if I'm here, I'm back with another nonprofit that's getting started. So you know me, I talk too much. So I'm going to kick it all the way over to the person who's about changing the world. As you know, nonprofit rocks. So man, tell us, first of all, your name. Tell us the name of your nonprofit. What do your nonprofit do? Why you started the nonprofit and how people can get in contact with you for donations. Okay, my name is Lisette Parsons. My non for profit is called Living Empowered. Um, I am looking to provide safe homes for domestic violence survivors with young children. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm a survivor myself. And many years ago, about 25 years ago, I was in that situation. And even though I worked for corporate America, it was very shameful and very embarrassing for me to come forward with what I was going through. Um, and I was a single parent with three sons and I needed to be in a safe environment. So I moved 55 miles away and commuted daily just so that I can make money in New York City, but still live in the country and make it hard for my perpetrator to follow me. Um, so given that information, I know the shame and the fear and it doesn't, uh, domestic violence doesn't have any caste. So it doesn't so this, matter. Just quickly, just quickly, because people are gonna be watching from around the nation. Let us know what state are you operating out of? Right now, I'm operating out of the state of Florida. Okay, good. And so um, I am targeted for the domestic violence survivors that are in Tampa. I am looking to relocate them to uh, the country more in Wikiwachi, Spring Hills, Homosasas, where they can be safe. They don't have to look over their shoulder. And it's about a 50-mile radius mm -hmm. as well. And um, that was successful for me because not everybody wants to take that drive or have the means to take that drive to perpetrate someone. So um, my homes will be under surveillance 24 hours, very safe. And I am looking to have um, a home where the kids can play safely in the backyard and plant their uh, crops and um, eat from what they're planting. And I'm looking to have a nutritionist to come in and do meal plans once a week. Um, and yeah, so I'm very excited. So, so, so you convinced me. Now, let people know how they can get money to you. Do you have an email or website? Or well, how can they contact you for donation, get donations to you? Well, right now, uh, you can contact me at LiseParsons at gmail.com. Hey, please, spell it out. Yes. So L -I -S people can definitely know. Yes. L-I-S-Y-P-A-R-S-O-N-S at gmail.com. My website currently right now is um, done, but I am waiting for my 501c3 so that I can get my EIN number so that I can have my business account and I can actually activate the donate button. Okay, excellent. Not only can we work with you in starting your nonprofit, but you, you can also come back to us because we work with you in putting together a business plan, strategic plan to take you to operation. So you can actually get funding in order to do those buildings and provide that particular service to clients. So anything else before we go that you want to share with the um pop keep in mind you're talking to people throughout the United States. Um yeah, I'm excited to start the organization and actually kick it off. Um it is a area where we speak about it, but it's untouched. 
And as much as we want to help, uh, safe homes really go a long way. And I know this for firsthand uh, so that these domestic violence survivors and their young children can sleep at night. I am so impressed with what you're doing. I am looking forward to take you to the next level. Thank you very much.